Larry Niven's Ringworld is finally about to get greenlit. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. Making Ringworld, the TV series, has been in development for, oh, forever, basically. Niven himself announced back in 2001 that he had a movie deal all signed and ready to go, but that collapsed. 2004, Sci-Fi made its first attempt to make the TV series, that collapsed. In 2013, Sci-Fi again had a deal with MGM to create a mini-series, a four-hour mini-series, that collapsed. And then in 2017, Amazon bought the rights. But, five years later, we still have no Ringworld on our TV screens. Amazon actually announced that it was going to be making three very high budget sci-fi series at the time, Ringworld only being one of them, Lazarus and Snow Crash being the other two. None of these TV series have actually made it to us TV screens as yet, and I wanted to speak to the people I know at MGM to see if they could tell me any more. So as you may know, if you are a regular side tracker, I have a couple of people at MGM I talk to and they slip me a little bit of gossip here and there. So I asked them straight out, what's happening with Ringworld? They've told me that this has been locked in a quagmire of problems ever since basically 2017. Akiva Goldsman is still down to be the showrunner and he will be the executive producer. A director has even been attached for some time. And Alan Taylor is penciled in to direct the pilot. A pilot that has been written, storyboarded, there is a bunch of creative art and concept art apparently, and the whole series is actually planned out, at very least, on a drawing board. So what is the hold up? Basically, I was told that this was actually ready to go into pre-production and then COVID hit. That basically stopped everything they were doing at the time and they had to prioritise projects and projects that were already in more further developed stages of production were prioritised. Then the Amazon sale to MGM went through. Now the first thing I said here was actually the deal with Amazon was to produce this TV show with MGM. So why would that slow anything down? I might, the answer basically was everything was slowed down. But it wasn't just because of the merger deal and legal issues over the MGM sale to Amazon, um, basically over the FTC inquiry. But another big part of the problem is that Amazon have invested a significant amount of money recently on another big project, the Lord of the Rings. Now, they paid $250 million and have already put aside another $500 million to produce the first series of this Lord of the Rings prequel. And there is a feeling within NGM that actually Amazon are a little bit reluctant to sign any more big checks just yet. They already are planning to develop a Stargate series and to get that onto our screens as quickly as possible. There's the James Bond development that is going to be expensive. And Amazon want to use the now massive intellectual rights it has through the MGM sale to remake or reboot a couple of old classic movies as well as repackage and redevelop all of their existing um, intellectual properties in obviously the massive back catalogue that they're now purchasing with the MGM sale. So where does that leave Ringworld right now? Well, I am told it is ready to go. It is ready for that green light. And basically, this should happen within the next six months or so. So hopefully at some point in 2023, we'll actually be getting Ringworld on our TV screens. We are actually going to get the lion bastard flying through space. We're going to see the 200-year-old Louis Wu going on his first adventure to go and explore the ring world. We're going to find out what is going on with the Puppet Master and uh, meet Nessus for the first time. But what do you think, guys? Is this a project you really want to see on our screens? Is the ring world something that you would love to see? It's one of those projects that is huge in scope. I genuinely think it's a project that probably couldn't have been made 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Best definitely not for the budget Amazon will hopefully be spent on it. And with the absolute desperation streaming platforms have for new content, I'm absolutely certain this is about to get made. Where we are right now, the director is currently working on early stages of development. They are tweaking storyboards, looking at concept art. Akiva Goldsman 
Go and IMDB this guy. He's been involved in so many different projects over the years, including a major executive producer of uh, a lot of the Star Trek franchises at the moment. He's working on Strange New Worlds at the moment. He's working on Picard. He's worked on several other projects, including actually Fringe, which is one of my favorite TV shows back in the day. He is working on, again, developing this TV series and working hard to get it just right. Because this is a loved novella. This is a loved story. They are going to have to get it right. And there are elements of the story that are slightly insane, which make it very easy to wander into the silly. Getting the tone right for this series is going to be incredibly difficult and a bit of a challenge. So I'm kind of glad in a way that they've been forced to take a pause. A pause that we'll then hopefully see the fruits of when it does finally make our screens. So that's it guys. Ringworld is coming to our TV screens in the next 18 months or so. Get into the comments, tell me what you think. Is this something you're looking forward to? And if you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out. You can also become a fully fledged side tracker and support the channel by hitting the join button below. As always, guys, please stay safe. I'll see you next time.